This is a review of the AIO DJ cable for iOS devices. This first featured in our stocking fillers roundup over on the Digital DJ Tips blog last week uh, when DJ Ombre covered it along with a lot of other desirable bits and pieces that the iOS DJ might like. But since then, the company, who are um, here in Spain actually, where we are, uh, has sent us a cable for us to have a proper close look at. So I have it in my hands now. It's long. That's a good thing about it. You plug one end of it into your iOS device. Notice the plug is a data cable rather than going in the top, which is far more secure. And then you have this long bit here, so you can stand in front of your decks. I've set up the digital DJ tips DJ booth here on our desk. Um, you turn up at a gig and you're going to DJ straight from this thing. So here's your workflow. You start off by plugging these two which are phono outputs, into a spare channel on your mixer. So this mixer here, I'm going to tuck them in to the CD channel next to the deck. There's also a data stroke, USB stroke charging cable. And this mixer actually has USBs on it for because it's got a sound card built in as well. I'm not going anywhere near the sound card, but if I plug that in there, now this is getting a charge as well, so it's not going to go flat on me. Of course, there's a lot of stuff in the DJ booth nowadays that has got USBs on it. There's CDJs, there's some, some other mixers have it. So anywhere you can find spare USB, you can also get a charge to your device, always good to know. But also, just take your charger with you. Plug it into a socket anywhere and this lead will let you charge as you go. So this lead has now given us an output for the mixer. It's given us some charge. It also has a headphone socket which means I can plug my headphones directly into it. It's basically a normal DJ splitter cable. A DJ splitter cable takes the stereo output from a device and splits it into two mono outputs, which it then makes into pseudo stereo, so they're still coming out of both speakers or both ear cups, but it's in mono. And it allows you to kind of fake the two outputs from a proper DJ sound card. It's essential for DJ with iOS devices because they don't have two sound outputs. Um, so now we're all set, we can DJ. And I just switch over to the channel which I've selected, start something playing. I'm using DJ, algorithm, Algorithms DJ application on here. On my headphones, I can switch over to the other deck, set myself a cue point, give that a little listen. Sounding good. Whack the crossfader across to the middle. And I'm ready on my mix. Blah, blah, blah. So there you go. Full DJing with headphone monitoring and charging for your iOS device from one cable. The criticism of the cable, if there is any, is that at this end here, let's unplug it again to show you. At this end here, Everything's close together. Everything's really close together. Now that's not really a problem for your headphones output or your mixer because obviously your headphones have got a nice long cable on them anyway. So that's all fine. However, you need to find, if you want to charge your device, you need to find a USB plug pretty near to the back of the mixer or you need an extension to get it to a mains socket assuming that there isn't one right there. So if that had been slightly longer, it would have been ideal. However, Overall, I think this is easily the best solution on the market at the moment for DJing seriously with Algorithms DJ or any other device, that, any other software for an iOS device that will allow you to split the audio output. On DJ itself, in the preferences, there is the ability to split output. And any software that's got that ability is going to work with this cable. And there's our quick review. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.